Hi everyone, in this uh, video I'm going to talk about how you can uh, track the result count within uh, Matomo Analytics for an internal search tracker. Uh, so in fact, in the past, uh, what they used to have was uh, this feature, uh, which allow you in fact to get over here the uh, number of results on the search results page. Uh, they say we are zero indicator, no result search keyword. And in the past, in fact, it was tracking this information as a, as a custom variable. Um, so currently, as you can see, uh, there's no slots uh, within the report in order to carry uh, the number of results. You just have a report for the no search result, but you don't have any for the uh, search results. So in order to fix that out, uh, what you can do is that you can create within uh, within Matumo, uh, you can create a custom dimension uh, that you can name search results count and uh, you define it at the action level. And as a search is an action, you can in fact stamp it on the search. So that's what I did over here. I created my custom dimension. Then uh, you go uh, over here and in fact, in my case, uh, what I did is I created um, two additional tags here because the site search is not yet part of the tracking type. So what I did is this. I created a custom HTML tag with uh, the set uh, custom dimension number two, uh, getting the search count. Then I do a back push track site search where I add the search term the category, so in my case, I hard coded it, and then I add the search count. Um, in terms of uh, trigger here, this is the page which is named search, so contain search. In order to make this possible, uh, in fact, I used as well another tag, which is the uh, initialize tracker, because what I don't want to have is to trigger a page view for this given page as it makes no sense uh, to be recorded as a page view. It's more like a search. So what I did is that I use uh, another uh, Matumo tag, which is an initialized tracker only, don't track uh, anything. And I use it, in fact, on this specific page, uh, which contains search. And on the opposite for my traditional uh, tracking code, so let's say this one, I ex uh, create a page view tag, but which does not contain the URL slash search. Okay, I'll search here in French. Uh, all makes sense. Uh, what we need now is to get uh, our page. So in my case, I pick up this, uh, this university page, they have a search engine. And here, what I noticed is that the number 29, which is the one that I want to grab, is not isolated. As you can see, it's part of a uh, span, so it's difficult to get. So what I did is I went into a chat GPT and within chat GPT, I asked for uh, the, the code that I that I wanted. So here, blah, 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 uh, may, yeah, try chat GPT4. Um, so, okay, this is, this is how I did it. So I, Ask to chat GPT uh, to produce me uh, the JavaScript function in order to be able to extract, in fact, the uh, results that I wanted because I don't know JavaScript. And as a result, uh, what is happening is that chat GPT produced me uh, exactly what I wanted. So I created two variables, which are uh, those, so search count. As you can see, the result of chat GPT in order to extract me uh, exactly what I what I want, and uh, and then and, and we're gonna see that it, it works. Um, so dealing with the search term here, I make it simple. I don't use ChatGPT. I just ask, okay, pick it up from the from the URL. Uh, let's see it in action. Um, so here um, I'm gonna enter a word uh, such as uh, I don't know what I could use. Um, Let's say Paris, okay. And as you can see, it's gonna fire a search, search which is Paris with the number of uh, search counts. So this amount uh, send as well as a dimension two and uh, no category. So this is the, the number which gets uh, extracted. Um, so my 
the tracker is sent so I can look uh, through the visit log in order to see how it looks like. Uh, so as you can see, it's Paris. The custom dimension is stamped on uh, the, uh, the, the search in itself and I'm getting my result count and I'm getting my, my term. Then what I did is I created a custom report. My custom report is named search results count. Um, I'm then defining it as it is. So this is my uh, dimension. Uh, this is the it, but in fact, I could make it differently. I could definitely go for search uh, and site search uh, keyword, for example. Uh, results count. Okay, well, anyway, I could definitely take this one. Uh, I can test it. So as you can see, uh, that's going to be in fact uh, the the final results. So the number of time that those this is a mistake that I was doing at the beginning, but I'm getting exactly uh, what I wanted. I could as well uh, decide, in fact, to make it better, like to have the site search term. Uh, keyword for the site search so that I can know in fact what are the uh, keywords which were concerned by that many results and uh, after this I can in fact uh, decide to assign it uh, where I want so in my case I want to put it within behavior and site search so that I can in fact complete uh, all those reports so now I have this one this one and in fact, I will get my search uh, results count when those, the data will be uh, will be loaded, and I can finally fix uh, the issue that Matbo has, which means that it's currently not supporting uh, the number of results, just the no result. And thanks to this report, which is the same as the one that I was uh, showing you over here, uh, then I'm then I'm happy. Because as you can see, it's containing in fact the data that I want. So it's just a matter of processing the data in order for those to appear. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.